Hello, this is Jamie Magridge. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's using uh, some of the retiring products. So that's why I'm doing a Christmas card now. I just wanted to try and use some of the retiring products a couple times. Now this stamp set isn't retiring, but this one is. And this color is. So let's get started. <clears throat> I'm going to be using Call Me Clover, lovely lipstick, Versamark, gold embossing powder. I have a few dyes. Now these two I can't remember what they came out of, uh, but these, um, this one is from um, Butterfly Beauty Thinlets, and this is from the First Frost. I'm going to be using First Frost for this flower and one of the leaves off of this stamp. And I'm going to be using Winter Woods, this one, this tree, and then I had one other for the sentiment. Oh, the sentiment came from this as well, thinking of you this season. Okay, I want to have one other <clears throat> die. This one, which is from the Come Sail Away, I believe it's called. Alright, for paper, I have a three and a half inch square of Whisper White. I have a piece of gold which is four by five and a half. I have a piece of the Call Me Clover which is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I have my card base which is five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. And then I have two scraps, one in Call Me Clover and one in Whisper White. And then the little tiny butterflies I'd cut out a long time ago out of some foil paper that we got in celebration. These were just from in my stash. They're just little tiny butterflies that I used that dye to cut out. You could use whatever you want, but they're that lovely lipstick foil that we got from celebration last year, I believe. Okay. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is bring in this piece. And I did forget to mount one stamp, so let's bring in this stamp here. Alright, and we're going to stamp this onto this piece of white paper with the Call Me Clover. We're going to do it multiple times. And I find it easier to do it this way. That's a square. It doesn't matter which way the paper is. Alright, so I'm just going to ink it up. I'll line it up. Just kind of barely fits in there. Just gonna keep going down the row. Now you could turn it if you wanted. We just kept stamping. We got one more here. Done with a green ink. We're going to come in with a scrap of whis of the Whisper White. And we're going to come in with our lovely lipstick. And we're going to stamp that flower once. I'm 
forgot we still need that colony clover because we need to do the leaf. Stamp the leaf once. Okay. Now we're going to come in with Versamark. Use cornstarch, whatever. And I think I've got enough room over here. Yeah, let's turn this this way. these flowers too so it doesn't stick to them and I'm going to ink up with the Versamark my sentiment Stamp it right here oh, I don't know how that's gonna work it's had so much powder on there well, let's put the embossing powder on and find out. It's pretty good. Usually I'd bring in a paintbrush, but now I think I'm gonna do it again, but let's stamp the tree then over here. I didn't get the tree out either. <clears throat> Excuse me. with the Versa mark really well. Maybe my ink pad needs re-inked. It's pretty old and dirty, so, so I'm going to stamp the tree once on here. I'm going to do it like this because then I can re-stamp the sentiment over there. Don't worry about these edges because I'm cutting it out anyway. Okay, now I'm going to restamp that sentiment. Still got ink in that couple spots there. Hmm. Well, let's bring in a paintbrush. I think the reason for that is because it's not square onto the onto the uh, block. A little bit of it's being picked up. That's alright. Try that again.
Okay, I've got one more thing to emboss, stamp and emboss before I put that away, and that's this green tree. Let's do that one. <clears throat> I also need the die for this tree. I don't know how I forgot that, but I'll get it out in a second here. I'll go ahead and stamp this here. Well, if you wanted, you could probably stamp this and cut it out of the piece that's going behind. But I didn't think about that. Embossing powder away. All right. I think I've got everything stamped. So now let's bring in our heat tool. Bring in my board. And let's emboss those pieces. Hopefully you can see it. Sorry, it's kind of shadowy today. I've got a lot of bright sun coming in the window behind me. There it goes. watching this mountain turn into shiny really is cool go ahead and do this one Choose which one I want to use, whichever one looks better. Okay. Awesome. Okay, now I just need to die cut out all these pieces. So this one's going to go he over this one. This one's going to go over this one. Just going to figure out how it goes. I think it goes this way. This has to be fussy cut because I don't have a die for that because this is actually part of a bigger stamp. And then I need to find the tree one. And I will be right back once I've cut those all out. Okay, I've got all those pieces cut out. So let's go ahead and put this together. So I'm bring in my card base and my Call Me Clover layer. Okay, I'm going to pull this to the front of my card. I'm going to add this gold layer. And again, this gold foil isn't stamping up. I do have all this gold foil in what I'd like to use up before I use the stamping up one. I 
this is going to get centered up here. It's going to be a little bit uh, like maybe a half an inch from the top and a quarter inch from the sides. It's going to get glued right there, the green one, although it doesn't really matter, you can do either one. I want the bottom of that to be about where the bottom of that is. Now I need to bring in some dimensionals, the dimensionals on the back these pieces. This one, I only need them on this end. I'm going to put this tree down first. And I want one of these branches to cover up the bottom of this. I want it to be lower than the green tree. So that looks good there. And I'm going to put this sentiment on. And I only put dimensionals on the one side because this side is going to be sitting on top of that. So I'm going to put a little wet glue there. Go ahead and put the sentiment on. Take the back off of my flowers. Let me actually see if I can get one more dimensional on there. Does it show? I think it's good. Okay, and I'm going to bring in my little pieces. I want this leaf the flower to go there. I want the sleeve to go behind it. I'm using those dimensionals to adhere these things. And this is just going to get set on there like that. And this little leaf will get set on there like that. And then I'm going to set this Set this down on top of those. Right there. There we go. There's our card. Oh, we do need to add those little butterflies. The tiniest little dot of the Tombow glue is probably the easiest. You don't need to add these. I just thought they added something. help to bring that uh, lovely lipstick color throughout. There we go. There's a card we just made together. Here's the one I did previously. Well, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.